Hi, it's Terry Rose. Somebody had submitted a question to me and asked my opinion, and I definitely have an opinion, so I want to answer that in this video because I've had other people that have asked me things along this same line. So basically the question that was asked was, you know, what, what good does it do if we're, you know, we're here to learn to, to live and to love and then we pass on to another environment? Why, you know, what good does that do us? How can we... How can we, you know, why don't we get to use what we learned and, and use it in the same environment? And then also reference to the fact that, you know, what good does it do when you, you, know, you learn to love and then you go on to heaven and heaven's supposed to be full of love anyway. So what's the point? Well, I definitely have an opinion about that. Number one, and as I always say, this is only my opinion from my experiences. I'm not saying it's right for anybody else, but I'm just going to share what I believe about this. Number one, I think we're all having experiences. We, what I saw in my near-death experience, I am a soul. I am, I was that same light energy that that of that that the presence I stood before was made of. What I was shown was that I'd been given free will, and I was using it with the lower vibrations of anger and and in ways that I didn't have love in my life. I was shown that things are a vibration. Emotions have an energy to it. They, everything is a vibration. So. There's a vibration of love. I, since I, I work with energy so much, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty involved with uh, vibrational healing and vibrational medicine. So um, I've really developed a feel for, for, for uh, energy. I, I mean, when somebody walks in the room, I can have my back turned to them and I can feel their energy when they walk in the room. Anybody can develop this. When you use something, you develop it. We are made of energy. I can feel the shift in my energy. It's so pronounced to me, and it's just because I work with it and I practice it, and that's how I heal myself of all kinds of physical things and things emotionally that bother me. I look for that shift in my physiology. I have a lot of this information on my website, Peace of Success, where you can learn more about this process if you'd like. Uh, and I have a lot of stories there too, but um, I believe that we are made of energy. We know we're made of energy. And I saw that I am that, that light. I am that, that energy of light, but I have my free will to use it as I will. So if I'm here and I've got a big ego and, and if I'm misusing everything and if I'm greedy and, you know, those kind of things, if I'm stealing from people, if I'm worrying about myself and I'm self-centered, there's a vibration that goes to that. I am here having an experience. What I, what I felt that it wasn't the presence, it wasn't the, you know, this creative presence that was there, this light that I stood before, that's not what was judging me. I just knew. I had, I had that, that oneness and information and knowledge at that point to know that I was acting less than the feeling of love. Unconditional love is something that I strive for, and that just means I love people. I don't not like them because I don't, you know, um, a mistake that they made. It's like the love that a parent has for their child. It's like the love that I had for my dog and my dog uh, had for me. I've talked about that a lot and have videos of that. I mean, he just absolutely unconditionally loved me. It didn't matter what I did. You know, he just, he loved me. And that's what animals do for us. There's an unconditional love there. And that's what I strive to have. When somebody does something that I don't like, I want to get where you know, I don't like them less because they did it. I may not respect what they did, but I'm still able to feel love for them because I know that there's a connection and we're all made of that light energy. And so I do just the opposite. I feel exactly the opposite. While I'm here, I want to take advantage of every single moment that I have to raise my vibration to a higher level because what I saw in my near-death experience, I took that with me. I took my consciousness with me. If you believe that you're here for a short time and you go off and you're judged and then you, you know, you, most people just go into heaven, then that's fine. This doesn't mean anything to you. I absolutely don't believe that. I think we have to raise ourselves to the vibration of love. We, we take heaven. We create heaven. We create it in our hearts by being loving, by, you know, when you, if, if you believe in the Bible and it's all through the Bible, how many times is love mentioned in the Bible? Being Christ-like. Christ loved people. You know, when we have that love energy, that Christ energy in our heart, when we are acting that way, we take heaven with us. What I saw in that car wreck, you know, I don't, I don't know exactly what would have happened, but I did not, 
I was not at that vibration of love, so I would not have been able to stay in that place of heaven, that oneness. It was very clear to me, not because someone was saying, oh, you did this, you have to go be punished. It was just clear that I have to become that vibration in order to enjoy it. So I don't believe that we all just float off to heaven and you're just in this bliss and you can, you can, you know, make a statement that you're sorry about something. Being sorry means that you change it in your heart. You actually, you are actually able to change that feeling the lower energies in your heart and feel love. And that's why I got so involved with vibrational medicine. Uh, I, I don't know of any way to do that without changing my vibration. There's vibrational medicine that you can actually, it actually goes into those programs, those subconscious programs that are causing you to be angry and, and have negative feelings. And it shifts them. And I can't explain it. I just know that I became a different person from the inside when I started doing um, vibrational uh, healing. It, something changed. I felt different about life and my physical ailments went away. So I'm not at the place of unconditional love yet. I know that I don't feel that in my heart all the time, but I'll tell you what I do. I stop myself when I recognize that I'm not there and, and I, I talk about my strawberry experiment. I know that that's real. I know that I created that fear energy that you can get those stories at my website, Peace of Success, but I know that I did that by the what I was feeling. All I was doing was thinking about things and feeling things, and I destroyed a strawberry from doing that. I made another one, uh, you know, slow down from from the from getting moldy and that sort of thing. It was able to stay fresh longer. I did that. I know that I did that. You may not, but I know that I did. So that says to me, I've been given the power to create certain energy and to be a certain way, and I know that I take that with me when I go. So. Wherever I am, I, I'm going to have to raise that vibration somewhere. I don't have all the answers. You know, all I know is in that near-death experience, it was nothing like I had told. I was told that it would be. Heaven was not the way I was told. God didn't look the way I was told. Nothing was like I was told. So how do I know what happens when I really die? I mean, why can't I? Maybe there's another plane. Maybe there's another world. Maybe it's coming back here. Maybe it's being in the spirit form and having to do things to raise your vibration. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I just know that I feel strongly that I need to I need to heal all of the things within me, all of my experiences, all the things that make me angry, everything that takes me away from being able to feel love. When I catch myself in that energy, I need to stop it. And I use vibrational medicine to do that uh, so that I can come back to that place of love. And that's the place... It's amazing. My goals, the things that I work on in my life, uh, if I need to make some money for something, whatever it is, I get myself to that place of coherence using vibrational medicine, feel love in my heart, let myself experience the power of love in my heart, create the vision of what it is that, that I want to change in my life or what I want to have it come into it. I create the vision, a clear intention. I feel the feelings with it. I think certain thoughts. And things just come into my life. I mean, it's it's amazing. So we have the power to do great, great things. And I think if we don't use it, we have to get that list, lesson. And we have to develop it someplace along the line. That's why I'm dedicated to sharing this information with anybody that wants to hear it. And sharing my stories that are at my website. Uh, doing anything I can to help people realize the power they have. Because I think you take yourself with you wherever you go. And so um, if you'd like some more information, stop by peaceofsuccess.com, read those stories, leave some stories, make some comments, or let me know how I can help you or, or what other information. If there's anything that I can uh, share, please let me know what I can do because we all affect each other. We are tied together, and, and um, you know, it does make a difference. I saw that firsthand, so stop by. See, let me know how I can help.